So, why even bother leveling skills? First of all, because you can do things like this more easily. But also because it transforms your rather pathetic little character into a true Russian bear. So let's go over the most important skills and how to level them, all in one raid. First off, we have Endurance. This increases stamina for sprinting, jumping and holding your breath. At Elite, you don't have this out of breath effect when out of stamina. And by the way, Elite just means the skill reached level 51. That's the maximum and there they get some bonuses. You level it by holding your breath or travel while not overweight. Then the health skill. It reduces the chance of a fracture, pretty neat. It also reduces the energy and hydration rate, so you need less food and drinks. And you level it passively by increasing other skills. Then immunity reduces the debuff you get from stims and similar things and also increases the effect time of painkillers. At elite you get the chance to not get a debuff at all. And you level it by getting a debuff. <laughs> and metabolism, it reduces the time of debuffs, the duration, and increases the benefits when you eat or drink something. At elite you don't get the dehydration and exhaustion effect. And that's damn nice. You level up by replenishing energy and hydration in raid. Then to one of my personal favorites, strength. You can aim longer, you can jump higher, you can carry more weight and you can sprint faster. You also hit harder with your melee but who cares. Then at elite the weight of guns on your back and sling are not counted. I mean basically you faster can carry more and you can jump higher, it's amazing. And you level up by traveling while overweight, throwing things or hitting people with melee attacks. Yeah but I think the last one is not that viable. So. <laughs> Vitality is also very nice as it reduces the chance of you getting a bleeding. At elite the bleedings even stop on their own after a couple of seconds. And you level it by taking damage or losing blood. Then the one that's all over the internet and that stress resistance. It reduces the chance of pain shock and tremor oscillation. And at elite you get the berserker mode. That's when you're at low health, you get a painkiller effect, get a movement speed bonus, you hit harder and you take less damage. So you go full berserk. It's amazing and really funny. You level it by getting a fracture taking damage or being on low health. So those are basically the physical ones, but we want our character to be big brain. So here are some mental ones. First attention, basically just increases the looting speed. Charisma, well the prices at merchants go down a tiny bit. And intellect, um, yeah increase item examination speed, who cares. Memory, you forget less, but you level it passively, so who cares. The only one that I really care about is perception. Because this thing increases your hearing distance, also improves your aiming. And you level it by finding loot and looting it actually. So it's best to just pick everything up and throw it on the ground again. Then we have searching, well increases search speed, oh, who cares. Yeah I won't go over the obvious ones, just the weapon skills, it's, I mean it's, yeah use an AK so you increase the assault rifle skill, like ugh. The one I want to talk about is cover movement though. It makes you go faster while sneaking and also decreases the amount of noise you make and the radius. At elite the current movement becomes equally quiet on all surfaces, that's amazing. And you level it by moving with less than 25% speed. Oof, okay that are all the skills, I know pretty boring, now let's get how to level them. One important thing to know is that if you don't level a skill for 16 minutes, it gets an insane bonus of 129%. If you start to level it then, this starts to decrease until you reach a negative leveling effect. So it's best to level it in burst instead of just one skill 20 minutes straight. Then some minor preparation. We need to get overweight, so one way you can do it is go to Burger King. I'm just kidding, okay. One way you can do it is by putting manuals into your document case. This makes the document case really heavy, 9 kilograms. So put two of those in your pouch and you're overweight. The cheaper version is to use buckshot in your backpack. Each stack is 1 kilogram. Then if you want to level immunity, the easiest way is to buy a max energy drink. It comes with a tiny debuff and therefore leveling the skill. So with all that ready, jump into a raid. 
first off we level immunity so drink your energy drink now, as you can see we get a tiny little stress debuff then since we're overweight we start leveling strength by simply running around the more distance you travel the more you level the skill but keep in mind the debuff hits harder and harder so once you think you have leveled enough for this raid just throw all the pallets or on the ground or the manuals if you choose the other version. The manuals can be insured so you get them back. Now since you're not overweight anymore, any distance you travel further levels endurance. It's that easy. Then when you come across barbed wire, there's your chance to level some other skills. The problem is the barbed wire doesn't deal enough damage for stress resistance in most cases. For that we need a bit of more extreme approach. Yeah, that's already much better, but still not enough, so let's try something different. This seems to work, but you also make a ton of noise. Another very handy way to level it is by using fires. I mean, look at that, one step into a fire gives us more than jumping off a rooftop and breaking both legs. And, ah, oh, damn it, we extract. <laughs> Next, covered movement. The way to level this is by you know, using your mouse wheel to decrease your speed to a point that there is no sound indication, around 25%. Once you're there, just move around. I know it's pretty boring, so I don't know. Enjoy the view. Ask yourself what you want to order for dinner later or I don't know, I know, pretty boring. But it levels the skills, so there we go. That metabolism is pretty easy. When you find drinks and food, just consume the food first because the food reduces usually hydration levels, so you get the maximum out of it. So basically just consume what you find. And just like all of the skills, they take some time to level, so it's best to level them each rate. This way, when you focus on missions or whatever, Suddenly, your skills are much higher. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, as always, smash the like button, tell me in the comment section how it went, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye!